Hello. How's everyone doing? Hopefully we're live. Uh, let me know if you can hear me all right. Hey, Juan. So how's everyone doing tonight? Loud and clear, awesome. Okay, so it's probably going to be a quick stream tonight. I haven't got too long. But what I want to try and do is at least come up with a concept. I need to make a mount to hold something on this. And what I need to hold at the end is this little doofer. So I've got some thread mounts in the side there. And we should try and make a little mount for it if we can. A lockdown 2.0 sucks balls big time. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you if I know I'm doing all right. I'm just tired. Vanilla work is kicking my butt right now. Uh, right. So I think the first thing I need to do here is just try and block out kind of where I want the box to live. So... Right, sketch. Oh, can't do it that way around. Let's do it that way. So I'm thinking, I just say sixty five by thirty eight. Right, let's just chuck some dimensions in. Uh, 65. 38. And we've got a little, I think it's an M4, so we've got a 4.2 mil circle in there. Hello, Demand Miha. So that's 20 up from the bottom. And twenty eight across. Okay, so that's a rough side view of where I need this mount to get to and what I need it to attach to. Uh, so where do we want this? You again, so I guess I start Minecraft. <laughs> I, mean, I want to play Minecraft. You just say no. <laughs> yeah, I was sick of Minecraft. Oh, you can never be play? sick of Minecraft. <clears throat> I tried it. Just because you can't play it. I tried it. I dug a cave and then flooded it. I gave up. Oh, you'd love it. <laughs> right. Yeah, so that's where I need to get to. Uh, that's not where I need to get to. I haven't finished putting it in position. So let's say we've got a mouth there. Lips, nose. And let's come back a bit. Uh, yeah, we can try there and we can uh we can always move it around later hopefully so we've got a bit of a reference where we need to go so i'm thinking my idea is i'm going to need a bracket either side of this gag and i'm thinking this part here goes in the mouth so i'm thinking that we need to clip on these little wings here so what's the best way to do this First of all, should we try and get some geometry down? Crap right, plane there. Now, let's start this from the, the big line. Big line. Uh, 
Oh, no, wrong button, wrong button. Click on the end there. There we go. So that'll stay in the middle, hopefully, if I've done that right. Okay, so the problem with this gag is it's not made perfectly. I think that line's running along the edge quite nicely. Uh, remember to make the part you mount round the top of the S. Round the ring. I remember to make you mount round the top of the S parts around the ring and hits the cheeks. What about this, this part here? Because what I'm thinking is trying to make like a bracket that sort of that kind of shape there. So I'm hoping I'll make it smooth enough so it won't really interfere too much. Or if it does touch the cheeks, it'll be soft enough. Um, it'd be nice if I could make it snap mount. But I've got a horrible feeling I won't be able to. And I'm going to have to almost do a front and a back and bolt together. I'm not sure. I think we should try snap mount to begin with. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what should we do now? Should we see if we can create a plane on that line? Uh, plane along the pass. Whoo. Uh, let's go from the other side. Let's go from the back. Right here. I suppose we can always move it if need be. Uh, how much room we got to play with? So that'd be about 10 mil, I think, before the start of the curve. <laughs> well, I had to scan the gag in work and uh, try. <laughs> of course, no one comes in your office for four hours. The second you crack a gag out, put it on the desk to try and scan it, everyone wants to come in your office. Oh, something has changed. Oh, I know what I did there. It's supposed to be a minus, wasn't it? Yeah, that works better. Mm, do I spy a 3D scan? Can a professional setup scan metal? It can. Well, I say it can. Um, we need to use a uh, developer. Um, it's like a... I suppose... I suppose the the cheapest version of it is um, you can get like aerosolized salt uh, chalk spray. That I've heard works quite well. I've never tried it myself, but we use a professional sort of developer in work. But you spray it on, it's like a liquid, and then it dries to leave like a really fine chalky texture over it, and it that means the three D scanner can pick it up really well. Uh, it's a strap on cup holder, honest. Yeah, that's one time a guy walked in when I was trying to make a butt plug on the pillar drill. That uh. That took some explaining. I played. I played you for everything, work. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, should we just 
dive into it and see how we get on. Uh, hold the phone. What I do want to do? Press section. There we go. I haven't actually used the spray chalk myself, but someone else I know that works at a different company, they gave me a tip and said it works just as well as a professional developer. I can't remember the name of the brand. Um, let's Google it. Spray chalk. No, I can't remember the name of the brand. Um, well, I've got the gag in front of me, so I'm just going to take a few measurements with some verniers. So, according to the verniers, I don't know if you can see that. I got a shot. Well, you can't see it, but it's measuring up around four and a half mil diameter. Uh, I'm in Germany anyway. I just try the cheap stuff. The cheap stuff will probably be just as good as what was suggested to me. There are some, um, the stuff I use in work is horrible, horrible stuff. It's normally used for um, NDT and fault detection. But I do know there are some proper evaporative 3D scanning sprays now. Um, they'll You spray it onto your metal, they last about 20 minutes, and then they start evaporating away. Let's turn that plane off. Amber Silver for the chalk developer. Okay. Haven't heard of that one. on the 3d scanning side of it or is that um like the ndt fault detection side of it i think those circles might do as well ndt right okay yeah, I, I have to nick the stuff from our NDT department in work. Uh, what's that? Should we do them? <laughs> yeah, definitely try Jork first. Uh, should we go two more to begin with? Seems like a reasonable number, doesn't it?
Right. So I'm thinking I'll print this as sort of like the drawing between the two semicircles. Uh, between the two circles, sorry. I want to try, see if we can make this a slap bit to begin with. And if it doesn't work, then I'll break it up into two halves. So... How do I want to do this? I know how I want to do this. Let's make you a public fit to you. Oh, to be fair, you can be a construction owner, I think. Let's go new. And let's make you a construction line as well. Okay, so this is where I always get confused. How far around? So what I'm trying to do now is do the cutout on this side of it, so it'll snap, snap down onto the uh, onto the ring. And I never quite know how far past center is the best to go. So I'm going to hope that I can print this so the layer lines are running this way anyway, so it should have strength there. Mm. What do we reckon? May I ask why mount the spider gag to something? Well, technically, I'm trying to mount something to the spider gag. Uh, I'm trying to mount this little doofer. One of my new toys. So I want it mounted on the front of the spider gag. So sitting up there. Um, I don't know why I chose the spider gag. Just... Seem like a fun excuse to spend some patrons money and make something fun. So I don't know if you've ever seen my harmonica gag. Um, that mount system is like a just a bent piece of bar that comes in front. That would have been so much easier for this project, but evil genius mode activated. Uh, I do need to copy this onto the other side, so I need to try and do dimensions. What angle did I go for? Yeah. <laughs> the harmonica was good. That originally started as a um, kazoo gag, and I didn't realise that I just thought kazoos, you blow into them and they make the weird noise. Um, I didn't realise there was an art to a kazoo. So the idea of the harmonica was kind of a last minute try and save the project job. Uh, where's mirror? Should we try that? We can give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, eh? I'm thinking... I... Might make this a bit bigger. Maybe 2.5. Let's make the arm a little bit more beefy in the middle. Oh, 
Well, let's extrude and see what happens. Let's get rid of the analysis for now. Uh, oh, I created a plane then. I can just use the Shoyu's plane. No, it's just to, to change the extrude, to be fair. Uh, Project Apple Juice, got some inspiration from that, making my own, so I made a custom gag that can't be pressed out and keeps the tongue down. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Uh, any easy way to send you a file? Uh, by all means, you can try. Try and email it to me. Uh, it depends how big it is. Other than that, I don't know. Yeah, no worries. Hmm. Are the spider gag arms parallel to each other? Uh, I don't think they're far away. They're not quite perfect. Oh my god, if I get it into an orientation to... Let's just do that, shall we? So I'll base it on down here, and if we spin it around to look at the other side... We see there's a tiny bit of deviation there. But I'm hoping that might work in my favour. I really don't think it'll be too bad. Plus, there is a little bit more room for the bracket to slide further back. Slide further back this way. So maybe it'll kind of find its own comfy position. Maybe. Possibly. Could be getting it horribly wrong. Let's give it a go. We can always change it afterwards. Uh, right. Sorry? I can't hear audio. It's got audio, you can, I can see your levels moving. Why can't I hear it on my earbuds? Ah, right, are you in Premiere Pro? Yeah. Uh, go to, is it edit, uh, right at the top? Editing. Edit, uh, on, next to file. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, click that, is there a preferences down the bottom? Yeah. Uh, hold over that, and then can you see audio hardware? Yeah. Click that one. Just wait for it. It should come up with a little window. Yeah. Right, is there an output? Possibly the second one now? Default output. Yeah, what's it on at the minute? Oh, not not my earbuds. Uh-huh. I've got noise. You got noise. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. It. Sorry, That's sorry. Right. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to make myself dizzy spinning this round. So there's every possibility that's very thin and flimsy. There's every possibility that it's just going to pop off by the time I've got some weight over here because it's just going to act like a giant lever. Again, when have we let that stop us? Science. Let's try it. That's where I'm learning all my phrases from. That's not going to school again. I'm hip. Yeah, I'm waiting for her to tell us she's not going to get a job. She's going to be a blogger. Uh, 
Yes, currently what's going through my mind is, as it stands, the weight of this D foot, which is represented by this rather crudely, is just going to pop it off. Um, but I'm thinking, let's have a go. And if it doesn't work, if it does pop these snaps off, then what I can do is split this into two parts and have it sort of bolt together. Hi Clifford. Yeah, sod it. Let's have a go. Uh, I'm not sure if I like how far in that's going. So it's going to be an arm coming off that. So let's maybe get rid of that. I must learn. Okay. Yeah, not quite as pretty, but at least now I've got a flat plane to work off. See, it'd be ideal if I just wanted the box here, but that's going to be too close. Um, how thick is it? Thirty-eight point five. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Um, I don't know the best way to get something from there to there. You've got mail. Have a quick look. Oh, sorry. Uh, can I loft it? Yeah, that's probably going to be the best way. Oh, uh, I see. That's, that's a pretty cool design.
one of the first things you ever made. Blimey. Did you mind if I showed it on stream? Go nuts. Okay. This is the gag that I was just uh, just admiring. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Just sharing that Hanover view. The bridges keep the sub from pushing out or in. So, uh, what bridges are you referring to on about these ones? Yeah, I like that, it's a cool design. Cool. Right, I'm sure I'll go with the loft and see how we go on. I don't do many lofts. Uh... Just do a oh no, you can't do that. Right, we can change this afterwards. I just want to see what's going to happen. Hmm. That's... That's an interesting shape. <laughs> So the question is, do I want... Oh, I'm still going that way. Do I want something that's direct? Or do I want maybe something that comes out and then up? You just squeak. How long you got left on your stream, Babs? Uh, what's the time? Probably go another 20 minutes, maybe? Mm -hmm. Alright? Yep. I need your help. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You need my help? Yeah. Okay, I'm sure it. people won't mind if I... Is it a quick question, or do you just I need don't. a bit of a run through? I don't know. Okay. Alright. Give me two minutes.
Oh, right, sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> We're back. So currently, I'm just clicking buttons to see what they do. Mm. I could put in some guide shapes, couldn't I, I suppose. Uh, all right, let's go back to this sketch. Nope, not that sketch. Actually, yeah. Let's get rid of this. I just kind of want to see. Crap point in the middle as well. Let's finish that sketch. And let's go to this one. And I want a point in the middle of this one as well. And it really annoys me that P is project and not the shortcut for point. Uh, am I right? I'm thinking. Okay, so you can be 3D sketches. I've never played around with this before. It's a spine point. So what I'm going to do, let's try top down first and see if we can sort of create a bit more of a shape that we like. Can I move it? No. I have to press move. We reckon. Try something a little bit more. It's quite an organic shape, that one.
Mm. We'll just have a go and see what happens. Just turn off that first sketch. All right, where are we? Lost. Oh, the where I last got me external. Okay. Let's cancel that. Well, that's a bit funky. Yeah, not that option. Uh, uh, perpendicularities will be up on it. You know what? I'm kind of digging that. I'll do it from the front. Now I'm trying to picture human anatomy right now. I'm thinking sort of you get your nose. <coughs> Yeah, you know he's there. I'm thinking it's almost gonna act like like one of those um harness gags with the strap sort of going across like that. It's gonna be a buggered print, you're absolutely right. Currently what I'm thinking, if I did want to print this is I almost wanna Maybe try and flatten this edge. Because what I could do is Cut the bracket away from the away from this support and then have that bit bolt to this bit so from the back back side here could have a little button head bolt go through to secure the two parts together Or I could cheat horribly and slice it in a straight line in half, print it as two bits, bring them together. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, a snap or there, an evil sub can shake hard to maybe get rid of it. Yeah, you could be right there. I think I will end up resorting to having a, a back plate that kind of locks it on with a bolt. 
I think it's, it's just going to be, there's too much leverage by the time we get out here, it's just going to ping. <laughs> Pot of noodle. <coughs> what do we reckon, eh? Do we reckon, do we want to try something else or do, do we want to persist with this idea? I think when I, the idea for this in my head was a lot more simple. Uh, go to top down view. And I think I was thinking something along the lines of, um, imagine this is all sort of on a plane here. So there'd be like a rectangle coming out this way, uh, angled this way. And then once you get to underneath the box here, there'd be a vertical arm up. Well, what is the main idea? The main idea, is to try and make something that attaches to this gag here that holds this in roughly this position here so this arm here is a bit i don't know whether to try something else or not this is the bit i'm focusing on at the minute oh come floppy Yeah, I think I might carry on with this idea. Well, with this shape. I reckon when we get to the end, chuck a bit of fillets in it, it'll be quite unique. Okay. Can you mirror what you just made to see it before? Uh, yeah, I'll mirror, try and mirror it in a second. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, so may maybe, just maybe, we can. Okay, so that will get me a flat face where I need it to be. So yeah, let's... Okay, that's a new body, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, right. Try to mirror it and see. So mirror that, mirror plane there. Okay, so it's going to look... Something like that. So the bit that it's holding in the middle is going to be this little defect. So that is represented by this block here. Yeah, I kind of like it as well. It's certainly a shape that I've never done before. You should see what it looks like a little bit skinnier. Let's go to the extremes. 15. So what do, what do we reckon? Do you reckon fatter or skinnier?
Oh, that's just that's a skinny there. Um, I'm not gonna. I can't be bothered to make the other side bespoke. You vote for skinny. I'm leaning towards skinny. So I'll be reluctant to make it any skinnier because it would just look a bit wimpy, I think. Thumbs up. What are pros and cons for either? Mm. I guess the only con I can think of is longer printing time for the fat version and it would obscure more of lovely Kay's face. Yeah, it's all right. Let's go for skinny. <coughs> You're growling, my love. I'm growling at everything. Do you need help? No. Did you try your in and out? Uh, I've got to that bit yet. Oh, okay. I've been trying to do my drop box, but I've got like fucking shit loads in my drop box. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, right. So, let's look at this Skinny, yes. Okie dokie. No, no, wrong, wrong thing, wrong thing. There we go. Uh, Uh, I may have found a flaw the way this is made. It needs the help of the sub to stay in place and not rotate forward down. How do you mean? Do you mean this part here or do you mean just this box here? Or am I misreading your statement? So I wish I had a little way to like draw on the screen. I must see if there's an app that does that. Block down. So this bit you think it'll it's gonna pivot around this circle. Is that what you're worried about? So worried it's gonna do that. My board app does that. Oh, okay. Let's open a new tab and I'll look at that once I finish streaming. Thank you for this. It's pivots in the mouth. No, my brain's still not working. So the mouth is going to be over here around this ring and the head's on this side of the gag. Sorry, I know it's hard to explain over text. When the strap hold it in place. Uh, the strap for the gag the strap for the gag is going to be going around the back of the head this way so that's going to hold the gag in place uh... you're on about the gag tipping in the mouth
know, to be honest, I haven't tried this gag out yet. I, I don't know how square it gets held in the mouth. This could be another failure, but let's let's persist anyway, shall we? I think what he's trying to say is that the gag may try to tip down in the mouth. So we're on about sort of like. Mm. And I think the only solution for that is to tighten it. Go test it for five minutes. Okay, what are you up to? Uh, she's in the zone. You are. <laughs> I've done all that and the fucker hasn't sent me an email address. What am I not using? So you got nowhere to, you got nowhere to send it? No. No. Right. Do you think if that was in, that'd be like if something was mounted onto there and there? Yeah. Do you think it'd be likely to tip forwards? Uh, do you need it to tip forward? No. Can you break my tea? I'm not going to break your tea. The name is it close to out. <laughs> it's not going anywhere with, uh -uh. A, with a strap on it you think the strap would keep it mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere <laughs> uh -huh. it's not going anywhere uh -uh. okay okay that's a big one that's a big one isn't it yeah that was a bit smaller in the pictures yeah you don't know, think it's big one I went for the what? You went for the biggest one in the picture. Yeah. You see the size of these? Yes. Yours is Things. Yeah, I've got a little one. Mouth. So based on that test, I think we'll be okay. Um, this unit is really, really light. And as long as I print the arms light enough as well, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, you could add a strap from the back of the gag open from the top and attach it to the device if it does drop down. I could, or we could investigate maybe nose hooks. Uh, so yeah, I think there's solutions. <coughs> so your cup of tea, growl? Yeah. I thought it might have been. I did. <laughs> I'm all out of babies. It's time for a tea. Can you guys hear this? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm thinking now. What am I thinking now? Make custard tea. No, that's not what I'm thinking now, my love. <laughs> okay, I will have to wrap it up soon anyway tonight. How long have you been on? Um, should tell me somewhere, shouldn't it? You'd have thought. Do you not have a timer? I don't know. Uh, about an hour. Oh, my accent's is a mess. Your accent? Yeah, someone just said they love our accents. <laughs> 
would you like? Because you're not from Bristol, so. Well, originally I was cockney years and years and years ago when I was wee. When you were wee? When I was wee. That's the age of five, I was a cockney. <laughs> then I become a farmer. <laughs> and now I'm just a mutt. <clears throat> Buckinghamshire, part of the Oh, question for you. What tea? Earl Grey with milk? No, PG, builders, two sugars. No tea at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag cheapy bitch. <laughs> Where's that going on the wall? It's what going. Let's fuck it. Oh, don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to change gags. Why? Why? Looks that. What what bracket are you on about? That square thing. On your computer screen. The thing, this thing? Yeah. That's the gag there. Yeah, what's the box? Oh, the, oh right, sorry. I saw. You normally do a box for an, a, a dog shop. A box like. is oh. just pretending to be that. So it's trying to get that, like there. You horrible bastard. Oh, is this YouTube? Yeah. Oh, you horrible YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be in my eyes. Good night, Joanne. Take care. Sorry? It's going to be in my eyeballs. Well, no, because it can be rotated. But I can't have it directly into your mouth, because you've seen how much it will choke you. Yeah, that's if I breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the desk mount thing you posted on Twitter for? Something on the stream desk? Yes. Yeah, I've uh, on the desk. I've on the underside. I wish I could take the underside. You just sworn it. No, I've, I've just noticed. I've just sworn at everyone. Sorry. <laughs> on the inside, every one hundred mil, I've put some M six threaded inserts in. Um. Let's see without annoying you guys too much. So I can mount bits. That's my slide. Fucking horrible you are. Stay there. So yeah, so the idea is I can mount things onto this. So this is a project I'm in the middle of at the minute. Um I'm just struggling to find someone that can do some stainless steel stuff for me i've got someone that might be able to help me out but not sure could you oh. even see that on the camera because it's cropped probably not i'm a muppet so just in case you couldn't see it oh no you could my views are all delayed here there we go No, it was off screen. Hopefully it went back on screen when I go back down to show you in a second. Tell you what I can do. Got it that time. Good. So that's what it looks like from the front. Uh, but I've done those threaded inserts the whole way along my desk. So the idea is... Yes, I'm all wet. <laughs> so that I can, you know, mount things anywhere on in front of my desk. So that's going to be the theme of a few projects coming up.
You're a dick. I wanted to try and time that <laughs> with you going. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put a crush cam up in here so I can flip to you when you're being a dick. <laughs> Uh, so those are the inserts. They work really well. You'll get muted. <laughs> muted. Uh, but yeah, I've made sure I've kept the whole pattern 100 mil apart. So you just got option, uh, just different options really of things to mount on the desk. Uh, so the bit that's printing at the minute is a mount for into this bad boy. So it's just a, like goose neck that clamps onto a desk, and then that's just an M6 thread now. So I can attach various things onto the end of this. <laughs> Cliff has just said, sure it's tea and not Baileys. I can't have any more Baileys. Can you not? No. Not the orange one? No, that's, uh, that's giving me a funny throat. Is it? Yeah. yeah you better have some normal. You should have one before bed, shouldn't you? Do you want one? But if you, this doesn't uh, substitute tea. Okay. Who said I'm making you the tea? You normally make me tea. <laughs> that only covers the screen, yeah, not the microphone. microphone. microphone yeah. <laughs> Just give me a reason to punish me. All right. Okay, 10 more minutes on this without distractions. So I'm thinking could we this might not work. Uh what am I trying to do here? I don't want to cut. Let's do a new body for now. Yeah, that's a bit of pain to print on it. Yeah, let's cancel that. Thank you. It's quite all right. How much in your glass? It's got a shallower bottom. Oh, all right, I see. Okay, let's. So I don't really know what I'm doing at the minute. I'm just playing around. No, I don't think I need that. So the thing I'm thinking about at the minute is the transition from... Like how the end of this is going to look. Turn that one off. Wait.
How about using a couple of magic arms? We'll start to go from there to here. To be fair, that's a good idea. That's certainly a good option. Gonna <laughs> make it damn sight easier. That way you only need caught twenty threads on either end. Yeah. does mean it's adjustable and that is a bonus I like that idea if I can't get this idea to work I will do that <laughs> Two magic arms, bonus. Looking a bit spirally. So this is just me purely messing around right now. No, it's not liking that. It's not liking it because uh... oh, nearly. Cheers on overview. Take care, mate. Bye. Bye. Right, I think I'm fighting myself right now with the transition here. So I think I'm going to call the stream there. Uh, sleep on it. And see what I decide to do. Maybe tomorrow I'll come up with a slightly different idea. Uh, or maybe we don't do anything. Maybe I'll just... Uh, 
keep it as it is, put a bolt hole in there and see how she looks when she prints. Night, <laughs> but yeah so we're going to call it a night there as well i think uh thanks for all your advice and input on this uh, i do like the ma uh, the magic arm idea uh, i think i'm gonna i'm gonna persist and just try and see if i can print something but that will certainly make a brilliant alternative uh solution for this I'll do. I'm tired. I'm gonna go and uh, apparently make someone a cup of tea. And go to bed. Bailey's. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for all your advice as well. Much appreciated. Sorry for the interruptions. And I will try and do another little stream when I can. Um, might save this project for another little stream. See if I can have any ideas. Um, and if anyone else thinks of any ideas, any better ways to do this, by all means, send me a message. Uh, what else did I have? I had something else. Yeah, I've got a few, especially with the, the new desk mounting system, there's a few sort of simpler projects coming up that I'll probably stream. Uh, get some input from you guys on, which is quite fun. But yeah, alright guys, take care. See you later. Goodbye.